Play Wonderwall. No. No, no. I hate Oasis. I hate Oasis. Um, despise them. In fact, um, hate them even more knowing that Tony Blair likes them. Um, so anyway, um, where are we? Where are we? Advanced Logic. We're going to have a look at some more Advanced Logic today. Um, how did you guys get on with the... Um, uh, exercises uh, yesterday. Was it all? Was it yesterday? No, I've lost track of time. Friday. That was two days ago. That was two days ago. Two days have passed. Where in my mind, nothing has happened. Um, did, what, did, what, ah. Right. What I will do is because I said I was going to mark that stuff over the weekend and I didn't because I'm the worst teacher in the world um, uh, but I will um, for the um, for the logic puzzles that we did way back when and for the um, uh, what's it called uh, the compound logic circuits thing um, I will uh, share with you guys on the classroom um, a sort of uh, list of solutions because there might be some situations where the circuits that you've created are fine and they work uh, but maybe not the most um, maybe not the most official thing don't pin shame to your own shirt I don't know what that don't know what that means um, right so here we are we've got 23 people which is which is I, I guess that's that's fine it's fine it's fine um, we're gonna have a look at advanced logic it, there's not an awful lot of input from me um, I am hovering my finger over the um, what's it called um, button uh, post to Google classroom button um, I'll I'll go over what we are going to be um, covering, uh, and then I'll show you an example. I'll show you what I want from you. It's there's less of the uh, wordy questions, and it's more of a draw the circuit that does this, and then create a truth table for it. It's basic. It's I guess it's kind of mathsy in the sense that you know in maths it's like here's a here's a way of doing a thing. Now do that thing about fifty times until until um, you you understand it. Makes sense? Cool. Um, right, so uh, here's the objectives today. By the end of this session, you will be able to use the standardized symbols to write logical expressions. Because when we're actually writing logical expressions, we don't just draw um, the symbols and draw circuits. We need to have a shorter uh, and easier way of writing that. And so you will be able to, um, uh, to understand how that works. Um, you will create some uh, advanced logic circuits in logically um, and uh, you will um, well we'll have a look at why logic gates are important in the CPU um, and most of that will be a voyage of self-discovery which you uh, which you uh, get through uh, working through a worksheet and obviously as always I will be on hand to uh, help you out um, cool. So first of all, I've got a ton of symbols here. Um, I want you to tell me what they mean. You can discuss this with each other if you want to. Presumably, all of these symbols are written down somewhere in your notes. So um, feel free to um, consult your notes. Uh, and in a couple of minutes, uh, you guys can tell me what each of those symbols mean and how they uh, behave. Okay, here's some music for you to listen to while you are doing that. Um, what about um, Hillbilly Swing? That sounds fun, doesn't it? There we go. <laughs>
Right, I, I'm gonna like I'm pausing that music because it goes on like that for another whole minute. Um, cool. So how are we doing? Right, we've got. Um, anyone want to um, uh, tell me what these? Uh, let's let's do this Texas style. Uh, now, now, let me tell you something right now. Uh, y'all, y'all know some of these uh, some of these gates right here. Uh, so why why don't you go on go on and tell me what this first gate what 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 it is what it is what kind of gate that is tell me put it in, put it in the chat mm. it an and gate what that what that mean how I get an output from the and gate. Yeah, both switches need to be one. I'm going to drop the uh, drop the accent here. Uh, Kaylee is quite right in saying logic gates, special circuits built into computer chips. Um, we're going to have a look. <coughs> <coughs> Dying. I'm going to have a look at how that works. So we've got two inputs now. Obviously, with um, any of these gates, you can have multiple different inputs. You only ever have one output. But you can have uh, you can have more than two inputs. Uh, the knock gate is a uh, a special case. Over here, uh, it's not coronavirus. I um, I actually choked on choked on some coffee grounds. I uh, don't know if you can see them at the at the bottom there. Okay, so that's that's what that was. Okay, so uh, this is an AND gate. What is this one? It is an OR gate. Um, so let's say, for instance, I have my A is 1 and my B is 1, both of them. Okay, remember this is an OR gate, so it's going to give us an output if one or the other is on. But let's say I've got both of them turned on. What output do I get at Y? Yes, it is on. Don't fall into the trap. <clears throat> Don't fall into the trap of thinking that um, just because they're both on and it's an OR gate, you will not get anything out. Which of these gates, which of these gates, just uh, say uh, if this is 1, 2, uh, 3, 4, 5, 6, which of these gates would be off uh, if both of them are on? Some people saying four, some people saying six. Well, um, if both inputs are on, this one's going to be off. Okay, and this one is going to be off. But also, if both of these inputs are on, this is a NOR gate, right? So that one's going to be off as well. All of these ones on the bottom will be off when both inputs are um, are on. Okay, and uh, if you know, uh, James has also mentioned uh, number three here as well. There's only a single input, but if that input is on, the output is off. Okay, uh, there is there is one gate missing from my list of gates here, which is the missing gate. Yes, XNOR. Good. Um, excellent. Right, okay, you guys seem to know your logic gate symbols. Um, what was what? Don't know what, don't know what you're talking about. Uh, is there any way to split a string up by a specific character and output as a list? Maybe, but you know what? That's got nothing to do with what we're currently looking at, so I'm not going to answer that question now, am I? Let's, let's stay focused on the lesson. 
Right. Uh, yeah, I, I think I got an email and that came through on the uh, on the stream. So there you go. Um, OK, so we don't want to always be drawing out these um, uh, logical symbols all the time, right? We want to have a quick way of drawing them in the same way that when you're drawing maths symbols, you've got uh, plus minus times divide, right? There are also special symbols that we use in order to um, uh, in order to um, write these uh, expressions down. Okay, you will need to know these, so it's worth making some notes. And is kind of like an upside down V, or it's kind of like an A without the cross through the middle of it. Okay, or is kind of similar to a V. OK, when you're drawing them, when you're writing them, you can just draw an upside down V, you can just draw a V. When, in fact, when you're typing them out, you can use um, you can use a V and you can use uh, the caret symbol, which is uh, shift six. Um, but also not. It's this little line here. OK, um, we're going to have a look at these in um, specific positions in a sec. Okay, I will just type into the ta uh, into the chat the way that I would uh, write these out if I was typing. So for and I would do a v. Um, for or I would do a um, carrot. And for not uh, I would do the not symbol, which is um, the key next to one, the key to the left of the one key. If you hold down shift and press that, you will get that not. Um, symbol. Okay. Um, for things like nor and nand, slightly different. Um, for um, for a nand gate, you would draw the uh, and with a little line across the top of it. For a uh, uh, a nor, you would draw uh, the or symbol with a little line across the top of it. Um, so. Uh, but you guys, you guys don't need to. Uh, uh, you, it, it's, it's rare that you would do um, the not symbol and then the um, uh, and then the or symbol. There's specific symbols for it. Okay, but you only need to worry about and or and not at GCSE level. Okay. What is the broader topic title? It's it's computational logic. Computational logic is the is the thing. Okay. Um. So. Based on that, okay, there are three expressions here. One, two, three. Okay, I want you to have a look at those, and based on what I have just told you and what those symbols are, um, can you tell me what those uh, three? Uh, if if you you can write in words, like instead of the and symbol, write and. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, and and is what did I what did I write? Did I mess something up? Yeah, oh God, yeah, right. Sorry. Uh, and is uh, and is that or is um, uh, that? I I apologise profusely. I'm an idiot. I'm an absolute moron. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, didn't realise the depth of my own mistake. But you know what? At least I'm able to admit my mistakes. Um, so uh, let's just let's just go back and just go back and rewind. Um, I'm just going to go back to the previous screen just to sort of clarify here. Um, and the upside down V, the way that I remember this is if you write an A and then don't write the line across it, it looks like that symbol. Um, for or, if you've got two uh, sports teams playing against each other, like um, the Pittsburgh Steelers versus the Baltimore Ravens, right? It's it's the Steelers v Ravens, yeah? Uh, it's one or the other, and then not is the other symbol. Um, so, so there you go, right? So let's just let's just go back here. I really am sorry for any confusion that I might have caused there um, with my stupid uh, mistake that I typed in there. So let's just have a let's have a look at this one. We've got this first one here. Um, we've got yes, it should be A and B. It's not A or B. It's A and B. Okay, remember that symbol there. It looks like an A, therefore it's and. Okay, and then here we've got A or B and C. 
Okay, A or B and C. All right, and then finally we've got not A or B. Okay, um, now those of you who are thinking, um, wait, well, what order do we do these things in? Um, there is no real consensus on this, but generally and happens before or. Um, uh, and not happens. Not happens before everything. So usually you have not and then any and that's going to happen and then any ors. So uh, you do B and C there um, and then you'd or it with A. But um, just, just bear in mind that um, usually what we would do is we would um, we would put brackets around things to make sure it's all um, um, it's it's all good. Okay. Does that does that make sense? Is it A or B and C, or is it A or B and C? Um, usually as well, when you're drawing out the truth tables for these things, um, you realize that um, sometimes you can simplify them uh, a lot, right? Um, so uh, let's, have, let's have a look at that example. Um, is it... A and A or B and C, or is it A or B and C? Well, either way, if C is, yeah, no, it does. It does make a significant difference. Um, okay, right, so. Based on this, I mean, if we were going to draw some of these circuits, um, this is this is the sort of the, the, the tricky part, if you like. Let me bring my uh, little demo up here. Here's my free trial of Logically. I know you love it. Right. Uh, that first one, um, A and B, we're not going to bother with that. We'll have a look at the, the next one. So A or B and C, right? You need to have three inputs. Uh, sorry, what was it? A or B and C. Well, there's B and C. Okay. Uh, and there is our A or B and C. Okay. So that's A or B and C. Now if we if we were to do it the other way um, like you said um, if we had A, B and C there uh, and we had um, what was it? A or B and C. Let's just have a look at what difference it would make. Um, See, it does make a significant difference the order that you do this in, uh, because in our second example, um, the light bulb is not going to light up unless C go away, unless C is on. I really, I really want that thing to go away. Go away, All right? Uh, whereas in the top example here, um, the light bulb will come on if both of the bottom ones are on or the top one is on okay so um, just be careful of that right usually usually there will be brackets around things so that you know what uh, what what things happen right but it's the same it's the same sort of thinking with your with your math stuff stuff in the brackets happens first when you're building these circuits let me just go back to the uh, what we've got here Get, when we've got these circuits, let's have a look at this bottom one. Um, not A or B, right? Remember, not always happens before everything else. Okay, so 
if we had um, not A or B, we're doing not A first and then the output from that is going into an OR gate with B. If there were brackets around both of these, we would have not A or B. Okay, so the order of operators for, for logic generally is um, not happens first um, and then and and then or. Okay, so let's have a um, let's do not A or B here. Uh, let's just get rid of all of this rubbish. So here is A and here is B. The best way of doing these things is break them down into stages, right? We know it's not A or B, right? So we can do not A. Excellent, there's not A. Done it. So now we just need to do or B. So it's the output from that feeding into the input of this next gate. And that is all there is to it. Okay. And there you go. Okay, so this is the worksheet that I have for you guys. Um, and this will be up on the classroom in a second. You will notice... Um, I have put at the start uh, the uh, the uh, logical operator, a picture of the gate, and the symbol. Right? Uh, you don't need to know about buffers, um, uh, but basically, what what a buffer is, it's something that holds holds some information prior to it being sent across somewhere else. Um, when you print. Uh, you, the, the stuff that you are printing will be held in a buffer um, so that um, because the printer can't keep up with the speed that you send the stuff to it right so um, the the printer will have a buffer on it so you send all the stuff to the buffer and then the printer like works through it at the speed that it can work through it okay so this is what the worksheet looks like um, it's pretty straightforward. You can see it starts off super easy down here. We've got uh, A or B. We've got not A. We've got not A or B. Uh, a and uh, not B there. Um, be, tr be careful with this one here, right? The not on this one, let's see if I can zoom in a little bit. The not on this one applies to everything that's in those brackets. So you've got to do the A and B first and then the output goes through a NOT gate. Okay? Hopefully that makes sense. Um, I have said uh, for the first part just get a screenshot of your logic circuit. Uh, for the second part um, what I'd like you to do is um, Complete the logic circuit, get a screenshot of your logic circuit in there as well, and complete the truth table. Now, once you've built the logic circuit, completing the truth table should be super easy because you can just turn the switches on or off and see what the output would be. Okay? Uh, not A and not B is actually the same as... Um, uh, it's actually the same as A or B. Okay. Oh, sorry, it's the same as as uh, not A and not B is the same as not A or B. Um, you, the the you've got to be you, yeah. So I see what you're what you're saying there, Ben. But um, it's not like it's not like maths where you you apply the same thing. It's not like not A and not B. It doesn't work like that. Okay. You can multiply it out, sort of, uh, but uh, according to De Morgan's laws, you have to flip the sign. So it would be not A or not B. But the best way of doing it, in fact, let's, let's do this as an example. Um, so we've got not A and B. Okay, if I just uh, bring this up here, um, uh, let's get rid of that. So, um, we're doing uh, not A 
Not A and B, right? Um, it's going to look like this. Um, you'd be, you'd, I, I can see your thinking in, in thinking. Oh, look, it's not A and uh, not B, so I'll just do um, not A uh, there and not B there and stick it through an AND gate there. Uh, but that would actually be wrong. Okay, this, that is not the correct answer, okay? Um, what you should do is do the stuff in the brackets first and then the output from that goes through this gate here, okay? Um, so here's A and here's B. We've got A and B, so we can do that there, okay? And then the output from that goes through the NOT gate. Okay? It's slightly tricky. Okay? And that is equivalent to a NAND gate. Okay? So that's NOT A and B. Uh, you'll notice that the behavior is uh, different if we were to do. Um, that example that you that you suggested um, there is not a and not B um, and you can see instantly we get different output it's not the same okay so you got to be you got to be super super careful um, with that. Okay, um, cool. So I am about to uh, put the worksheet up. Uh, if you just bear with me two seconds, I can. Um, yep, that is. I spelt that wrong. That's not how you spell that. Um, no, no, I did that on purpose. Um, There you go. Um, the worksheet is now up on the classroom. Worksheet is now up on the classroom. Um, you should hopefully be able to work through that no problem. Um, if you run into issues... Now, th one thing that I will point out here, uh, the worksheet does get pretty complicated down in part... Um, I'll be careful of, of this here. You've got to do A and B, and then you've got to do C and not D, and then you've got to OR the two together. Um, but then down here, part three, that's, that's designed to get you really thinking. Because this is how, exactly how, the gates are laid out inside a CPU. Okay? Um, and with this one, you've actually got two outputs. They're not feeding into the same output. There's there's one output for the sum. There's one output for C out. Okay. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna uh, fill your head with even even more stuff here. Part four is big brain stuff. All right. Uh, I put it in there for uh, for those of you who like a challenge. Um, uh, it's there's there's some there's some extensive um, extensive stuff in there. Okay, take your time with it. There's not an awful lot more that I can say. Uh, it's all about experimentation. I will be in the Discord to answer any questions that you have. Um, you can send me screenshots. You can ask me questions. I will answer said questions. Just before I go, though, does anyone have, are there any bits that you are not sure of you want me to clarify uh, before we leave? Um, or are you all mostly happy? Uh, yeah, it wasn't intended as a joke, um, uh, but if you if you got some sort of joy out of it, then that's there. There we go. It's been good, yeah, yeah. Carrot, carrot is happy. This is good. Um, 
so if there is no more questions, then I guess I will end the stream. Um, once again, uh, the outro. I don't. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, I mean, Bruno was supposed to send me a new version of his outro without the uh, the copyrighted music, um, but um, uh, but but I don't know. So I'm I'm just going to try this outro. I might mess it up. I who knows? Who knows whether I'm going to mess it up or not? Uh, all right. So um, I, I, I'm not I'm not just going to grind some coffee. I've got enough coffee. Um, that's uh, that's there's a there's a, there's a thing. Um, excellent. Right. Uh, go and go and do that. Uh, do that worksheet. Take some time with it. Um, and uh, if you run into any problems, let me know. <laughs>